Hey Secondary One Math Projects, it's Coach Saiful with your daily dose of math mastery and this week we're going to go into your assessment paper number 3 uh, where we deal with a lot of interesting looking algebras, pretty cool stuff. Okay, so let's take a look at the very first um, question over here. There, were, there are a few parts to it, there are actually 5 parts. So the first question is 4 over 3a cubed b squared. Okay, let me just write this down first. Um, okay, here. 4a over, sorry, 4 over 3a cubed b squared. 3a cubed b squared divided by 2 over, <coughs> 2 over a b cubed. 2 over a b cubed. Okay, in this case, what must you do? Whenever you see something like this, when you see a divide sign, when you see a divide sign, and you see two similar looking um, terms, what you must do is you must change it to a multiply. So when you change it to a multiply, it becomes inverse. In other words, it becomes 1 over the other. So instead of 2 over a b cubed, it becomes 4 over 3 a cubed b squared times a b cubed over 2. Very simple. And then from here, you can start cancelling. Cancel 2, cancel 2, you get 2 over here. You cancel b squared, and you still have a b over here. You cancel a uh, over here, you have a squared. And so the answer you're left with is actually 2b over 3a squared. And that's the answer. Very simple. Okay, if you got it right, high five. You're a math project. Good job. Let's move on to the next question. Next question is actually the one which I think most people would have a big uh, hard time with. Let's take a look at the question. 12ab minus 6bc. 12ab minus 6bc um, plus 5ba minus 3ca and then we have my plus 7cb. Now, when we have something like this, when we have five terms, now this is a bit challenging, I don't think any of you have seen something like this before. Usually we have four terms and we can group them together, am I right? Now what I want to do, what I like to do is actually to make sure that we group um, similar terms together. We still can group them together, okay? So let's take a look. There is B, 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 and B here. There are four terms with Bs. Um, there you go. One, two, three, four. Four terms with Bs. Can I do that? Of course I can do that if I want to. And there also are A, 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 uh, three A's over here. Now you can choose either one, but by trial and error, I'm just going to try A. Okay? A, A, A. I'm going to put these three things together. So it becomes 12 A, B plus 5ba minus 3ca and I'm going to leave the rest together minus 6bc plus 7a plus 7cb okay so now wait something is wrong 7bc 7ba 7b 7cb 5ba correct let me check hold on eh? yep correct okay so from here what happens is we can take out the a right and we have 12b plus 5b minus, sorry, minus 3c. And on this side, we have minus, okay, now this is very important. You must make sure that whenever you have a minus sign on the side, you want to actually um, put a bracket around it. So minus b, uh, minus bc, okay, 6 plus 7. 6 plus or minus? 6 minus because minus times minus gives you plus. So minus 7. So in this case, you have um, 12b plus 5b gives you what? Gives you 17b minus 3c. Minus 6, 6 minus 7 gives you minus 1. So it becomes minus 1 minus minus 1. So it becomes plus bc. So from here, you can actually open it up. It can become 17ab minus 3ac plus bc. And that is... And that is the answer. Yeah, that's the answer. Okay? Now, if you got it right, high five. You are a math prodigy. Good job. Now, we're going to go move on to question number three. Oh, sorry, part C of this question. Okay? So, part C of this question is, I think, it's pretty simple. Let's take a look. Oops, wrong one. Um, part C of this question is over here. So, 3 over 2, 4 e plus 12. 3 over 2, 4 e plus 12. Okay, and then we have... Um, plus 4, 5e, minus 7 over 2. Okay, in this case, am I right? Let me check it. 
Okay, correct. So in this case, um, it's very, very simple. It's pretty straightforward. straightforward. Simplify, right? So you just open this up. Now, 3 over 2 times 4 gives you what? You cancel this, you cancel this, you get 2e times 3, which actually is 2e times 3 gives you 6. Okay, and then the one plus 12. 12 cancel, cancel, you get 2. You get over here, you get 6. 6 times 3 gives you 18. Okay, plus 4, 5 times 5e, you get 20e. Minus 7 times, 7 over 2 times 4, you cancel the 2, you have 2 times 7, which actually is 14. Then from here, you just simply add them up together, 26e. Plus 18 minus 14 gives you plus 4. So can you just make it uh, simpler? Yes, you can. For what time, time times 4 gives you 26? I'm um, sorry, 2. So you get 13e plus 2. And that's it. Okay, pretty simple. Make sure that you simplify it. When you say simplify, it means you have to make it in these terms. Not factorize, but put it in simple terms. Okay, cool. Now we're going to move into question number 4, part 4. 20xy minus 16y. 20xy minus 16y. y minus 2x. Okay, for this kind of questions, again, it's very simple, very straightforward. Just open up the bracket. So you have 20xy minus, okay, 16y times y gives you 16y, what, y squared. Good job. Minus times minus, straight away you write down a plus. 16y times 2x gives you, 16 times 2, 32, x times y, get xy. So from here, what must you do? From here, you realize that, hey, wait, most of you stopped here. Most of you stopped and you said this is the end. But notice that it's actually n x, sorry, there's a y, there's a y, and there's a y. So you actually make them in common terms. And the numbers here are pretty, pretty similar. So what you can do is you can try putting out um, 4. So you have 5, you know, 4y, and you have 5x minus 4y plus um, 8, uh, 8x. 5x plus 8x. See, can you see that it's pretty interesting? 5x plus 8x gives you 13x minus 4y. And that's it. Okay, so that's the final answer for that. And here is the final part of the question, part E. Yeah. Um, P minus 5, P minus 7 minus 3, P plus 2. So in this case, again, it's pretty simple because all you have to do is just open it up. You open this up, you get P. Now, this is where you have to be very, very careful. There is an extra bracket here. This is a square bracket. Uh, why? Because it is um, in, it is outside of a normal bracket over here. Okay, so in this case, what you have to do is you have to keep the ones in here, and then you have to open the ones in the brackets. So minus 3 times P gives you minus 3P. Minus 3 times plus 2 gives you minus 6. So another interesting thing that happens over here immediately is you can actually um, put them together. 5P minus 3P gives you 2P. <laughs> Um, and then you have minus 7 minus 6, which is minus 13. Now, again, this is where most of you might just go wrong, is to actually multiply with the minus sign. So you get P minus 2P minus times minus 13 gives you plus 13. And so the answer is P minus 2P gives you minus P plus 13. And that's the answer. So that's pretty much it. Now, algebra is pretty, pretty simple once you know the basic concepts of opening up, simplifying, factorizing, etc. Right? Um, one of the things that I always tell my students is that uh, your preparation is very, very important. But the other thing that I must highlight to you is that you have to believe in you. Yeah? This is the quote of the week, is to believe in you. doesn't matter how much work you put in. If you don't believe in yourself, you might not be able to do the test because you're so afraid and you're so unconfident. All right? So with that, I'm going to go into question number two later. But first of all, I'm going to give you a big high five because you are a math prodigy. Good job.